Okay, so this is the hydroponics garden. It has about two weeks and then we're going to uh, get everything out, probably take home some plants. So this is how it's looking so far. Now, as you can see, the flowers have taken over majority of the hydroponics garden and have overshadowed anything else really that's in there. There's a little bit of basil up here and 18. And then there was a basil over here, but it died. Although the flowers go out so nicely. If you look at this flower here, you can see I can just take it off. Now every bit of these, like all those small little pieces there, they are all flower. We're all part of a flower. Examining it under a microscope, it can show the pollen and also how the flower is structured. Now, eventually, that would turn into seeds. So that's how these flowers work. And then over here, we got the zanias, but they're blooms. This one is <clears throat> this one is a secondary bloom. This one's a tertiary bloom. You can see that because this one only has one outer layer of petals. This one has like a outer layer and then partly inner layer. Going down here to the peppers, as you can see, they're starting to develop a lot more. This one especially has introduced, um, I forgot what it was called, but it basically makes the stem stronger and that's how it gets its brownish color. And of course, there's massive leaves. Once they get to the third stage of leaves, then they will rapidly start to grow and then eventually branch out. These are the remaining peppers here. And on this side, we have cucumber. Uh, these cucumber are doing pretty well and have grown out a lot more as well. And then there's the start of a sunflower over here. That's all for hydroponics in the school hydroponics garden. Hopefully not one of the last videos, but will be one of those. That's all for hydroponics. See you all next time.